from London by Martin and Gary. Good morning to both of you. I mean, that's just Good morning a to snippet you guys. there. It is hilarious. I promise we'll give you equal screen time, by the way. <laughs> um, how on earth did this come about then? Gary? Uh, well, uh, Martin called me because he'd worked with Rhys Thomas, who wrote this, um, on the Brian Pern series that he did for BBC Four. Um, and, and he said, look, Reese is a great guy. You've got to go and meet him. He wants to do a spoof about us. And we just really hit it off with him. And we, we liked the idea completely. And, uh, and I think at first it was just going to be us being interviewed. Um, but we sort of expanded it and we ended up creating other characters. You know, Anna Maxwell Martin plays my wife in it. And so it becomes like a, a, a real fictional journey for these two guys uh, that are having a documentary made about them, which turns into a disaster. And Martin, how surreal is it when you're doing it as well? Because it must be quite strange to think, you know, we're, we're doing this, it's a, it's a spoof, you're kind of sending yourselves up, but at the same time, you're not quite sure, I guess, how people are going to receive it, how it's going to be coming across. I think one of the best things you can do in this business is to laugh at yourself. You know, people take themselves so seriously. Uh, this is... a this is a piece of comedy. Um, it's designed to make you belly laugh, not just kind of grin at the TV, you know, and snort. It's, de it's designed to make you belly laugh. And that's what we do. I mean, and, and along the journey, you know, we, um, I think because we laugh at ourselves so much and take the mickey out of ourselves so much that we're allowed to take the mickey out of other people too. And so please, if anybody's in this, do not get offended. It is just a laugh. Mm. It's interesting you say that because, of course, uh, there's a picture in the mirror today. Uh, I think, Gary, in the, in the documentary, uh, you've done a picture of Tony Hadley, lead singer of, <laughs> of Spand Out. And you can imagine that this is going to get a lot of attention. Just can you explain a little bit about this scene? Yeah, you know, it, it's I, I call him my character because it isn't really me. I think, you know, this is a version of me taking all the most preposterous parts of me and sticking them all at the front. And, um, and it's really taken the mickey out of my character who's, who's obsessed with the lead singer in the band, who, you know, a band that no longer exists anymore. And I think that's kind of a universal thing, you know, the, the Gallagher brothers, you know, I mean, Robert Plant and Jimmy Page. I mean, this has been going on for a long time. So it's, that's one of the through lines in the, in, the, in the show as well, this obsession. So no offence to Tony. <laughs> no, let's hope he won't be upset. Yeah, let's hope he won't take it. Is it quite hard though? Because obviously, Martin, as you're saying, you're taking those those elements of your own personalities and you're really expanding them and poking fun at them. You're actually sort of self-analysing as well, aren't you? About the things that maybe every now and again, because you were pop stars, you got away with them and perhaps shouldn't have. Yeah, of course. But every. Everybody in a band has this sense of self-importance. And I think that's why it's such great fodder to take the mickey out of. You know, that's why there's been so many mockumentaries made in the past, you know, like starting from Spinal Tap. Mm. And uh, I think it's just, it's so lovely because we set ourselves up so much. And you, you know, did a lot of it. Maybe the, maybe the next one to be made is Sting. Yeah, <laughs> and, well, that would be a great one to watch. You did a lot of improv in this as well, and I know that um, Anna Maxwell played your wife, didn't she, Gary? But actually, it was your wife Shirley play was in the, was in the documentary, Martin, with you. But in this documentary, it's not just Shirley you're married to, is it? No, I am married to both of them, Pepsi and Shirley, uh, um, for thirty odd years. But uh, you know, Shirley, it was Shirley's first time really discovering what acting was. You know, she wanted to be in it. I got her down one day and I said, here's a scene that we could do. We got her improv on it. And halfway through the improv, when me and Shirley are kind of having this argument about who I love the most, Pepsi or Shirley, <laughs> I, could see, I could see Shirley's eyes welling up and watering. And it was almost like it was the first time she'd experienced being an actor, being inside this bubble that you kind of make your self-belief yeah. is, the, is the real thing. So uh, it was a wonderful experience for her. But listen, she was so funny in here. I'm so proud of her. And of course, Gary, that would have been a conversation that teenage boys and fans of Pepsi and Shirley would have had for years. Which one, Pepsi and Shirley, do you love the most? <laughs> yeah, I think what, we, what we're doing in this is we're, we're sort of, you know, the, the celebrity is so fragile. And, you know, there's this this idea that you're, you're, you know, you may have had a great moment in your life when you were very famous, but somehow you can never go back and do a real job. You've got to do something earnest uh, or, or something about art. You know, you've got to move on rather and, and want credibility for that. And I think we're really taking the mickey out of that within it.
And there's all sorts of people popping up. A stellar cast, Christopher Eccleston, Anna Maxwell Martin, Danny Mays. I mean, Martin, there were all sorts of different people that you were kind of acting alongside with at the same time, weren't there? Uh, it's amazing. I mean, that is all down to Rhys Thomas. Rhys Thomas uh, is an absolute comedic genius. Uh, his scripts, his timing. You know, I worked with Rhys before on something called Brian Pern, and uh, it was just wonderful. He does this magical thing where before he calls action, he lets you improvise, and after he calls cut, he lets you improvise. And sometimes they're like the, the magical moments that every actor wants. And... Um, he was just great to work with, you know, but it's all down to him, really. Gary, do you think that there is a world whereby after this mockumentary, which you've clearly pointed out, you're sending yourselves up and you're laughing at yourselves particularly, it might heal a few wounds between uh, the band and, and Tony, potentially. It could, you know, in some strange what way, bring you back together? You will know. be lucky, Ben. <laughs> 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 I mean, we've been back together and, and apart and back together and apart. I mean, we can't stop just wearing away at the old jumper. But we, um, you know, who knows? I'm never, we're never going to say never, are we? If all five of us want to do it at the same time, that, that, that might be fun for us. But in the meantime, you know, we'll keep laughing at it and enjoying it. Martin, what have you got to say? Because we did promise people, we promised your fans that we would ask about whether you would be reforming at some stage. We all want it. Oh, <laughs> You know, reforming it, but being in Spandau is is a journey. And uh, listen, I would do it if all five of us did it, but the likelihood of that happening is remote. And uh, as much as that pains me to say that, uh, I think it is remote. And uh, it's one of those things that I look back now and I think it was a wonderful, wonderful journey. And I, we had a wonderful time on that journey, but uh, if it ever happens again, it'd be fun. If it doesn't, listen, it was great. Uh, it's, 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 it's always great to see the two of you uh, together. We've been watching a lot of you, of course, uh, Martin, with Roman on Gogglebox. It looks like the two of you have such a laugh making that show. It's the funniest thing, because uh, it, all we do is we sit there watching television and it's as, the same as we've been doing for all our lives. You know, ever since Roman was small, we sat on the sofa, taking a mickey out of what's on, taking a mickey out of each other. And uh, what you get to see on Gogglebox is who we really are, sitting on a sofa in front of the TV. Uh, but it's wonderful working with Roman. You know, during lockdown, uh, I couldn't see him. Um, personally, but he used to come over to the house or uh, and uh, we used to shoot that goggle box, you know, obviously at a safe distance. Yeah. But uh, it was a it was a chance to get to see him.